Good morning. I had an eventful night last night. Well, it's not really eventful so much as something happened. I was laying in bed, and all of a sudden something started moving over my, by my door. And when you're like, something's moving in your sleep, it's like you're in this half groggy, sleepy state. And you're like, not don't really know where you are, and something's moving over there. But anyway, basically what happened was I hold my I put my calendar on the back of my door, and I hold it up with this poster putty, this different stuff. So last night, I guess I'm using my door and stuff, the, the calendar decided to fall down. But it didn't just fall down, it like folded over and like folded over the top and the top fell down and it peeled off and it was a slow process of me trying to figure out why something's moving and then realizing it's just my calendar. Nathan and I are about to go on to the scariest elevator ever. It's kind of like the Tower of Terror. It's our cargo elevator. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to die here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We have to push. Let's go with one. Ah! Did we tell it to do that? Usually you have to tell it to do that. It's being like that. And we didn't. Oh, did you push like one? Usually you usually have to tell it to close and it just closed on its own, which is a little scary. There's a ghost. Okay. I love, I love the noises. It gives you the full effect. Tower of Doom. And what's with this random chair in the corner? It's like He's someone scary say. just riding an elevator. Up here on top of the parking garage is where the greenhouse is. And check it out, there's there's Atlanta, way off in the distance. All right, we got our soil. Headed back to the lab. Things are heavy. Sounds like a whale calling or something. So dramatic that was little closed. Just in case anyone's fingers are under the ears. Headed to meet up with some people right now to um, talk about starting up a missional community here on campus, like a Bible study, like an outreach church group. And uh, so I got my dinner. I just got from the food court and filled up my water bottle from the little hydration station they have conveniently located there, so hopefully it's good water. I'm back from work, and I had a decently productive day, did some more organizing, and then got together with some people about a group from church. But now I'm just going to cook some stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how to cook one of my favorite dishes, baked acorn squash. This is an acorn squash, and this is one of the biggest I've ever seen. This is like almost head size. but Basically, all I'm going to do to cook it is I'm going, I slice it in half, and then I scooped out all the seeds. And so, then what you can do is if you just put a little bit of cinnamon over it, da -da -da -da, then you can just plop some applesauce into it. Ta-da! Usually I'd fill it up, but I just ran out of applesauce, so unfortunately it's all I'm going to get for today. But usually I just fill this whole cavity up. Usually I fill this whole thing up with applesauce, and I sprinkle a little more cinnamon, and then I just pop it into the oven um, at 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. So it does take some time, but it, it's really good afterwards. All right, I'm in Kroger, here to pick up some applesauce and get back to cooking. There, that's better. I almost forgot to cook it right. You're supposed to poke little holes into the um, into the squash to. Uh, let it be able to cook well. I'm going to use two, hand, I'm gonna use two hands for this. And usually you want to do that before you put that sauce in. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Ta-da! They're all done. So now I can just let them cool and I can just eat them. I like to eat them just straight out of the shell. Just like I can eat one of these things for a meal. Or if not, you can pull it all out and mash the applesauce in with the rest of the acorn squash 
if you get the just plain natural applesauce, this is a really actually really healthy and it gets really sweet when you mix all these different flavors in together. So anyways you should try it. My sugar. <laughs> Sounds like you're uh flirting with it or something. Sounds like I just called you my sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's verified. She's not talking about me. It's my sugar. <laughs>